Um, in our next one, we have the Minnesota Vikings going on the road to take on the Cincinnati Bengals. Yeah, man. <clears throat> this Bengals team. Uh, Jake Browning, like, holy cow. He's at, yeah, like a 75% completion percentage, five touchdowns to two, two interceptions, 110.9 QB rating. Uh, him and that offense has put up 34 points the past two games, you know, against the Colts and the Jags as well. Uh, and it looks like the Vikings, too. It looks like Nick Mullins is going to start at the quarterback position. Justin Jefferson, he says he'll play. So, you know, we'll take him for his word there. Uh, that could definitely be an X factor. But again, Nick Mullins, like, you know, he's been in the league for several years, uh, 28 years old. Um, hasn't done too much on the chances he has gotten. Uh, but obviously, when you have Justin Jefferson, things can be a little bit different there. And this is a Vikings team that they're going to be aggressive. They know it's it's Browning there, not Burroughs. They're they're going to blitz a bunch. You know they're the most uh, blitzing team defense out there. The Bengals looks like they're favored by three. I got the Bengals winning and covering this. Like they've just been playing really well. You know it's in Cincy as well. And you know with Browning, like I, I don't see too much honestly of a dip uh, compared to Burrow uh, with respect to Burrow, obviously. Uh, Burrow, obviously, he has a better arm, just overall better arm talent. But Browning's been playing really solid, playing really well. There's a lot of you know, optimism, I think, for the Bengals. They still have a really talented team. Uh, and then, yeah, the, the Vikings, um, really competitive team. Just, yeah, they're they're going into you know a hot Bengals team right now that's kind of clicking right now. So, yeah, I'm going to pick the Bengals, and I think that they'll cover uh, that three-point spread. Yeah, um, this is a game I would place a bet on, and I would take the Bengals and go over, um, kind of looking at both rosters and kind of the trends of both teams. I'm kind of disappointed we actually covered this game. I could have pulled out another wild card game, and this maybe going to be, I think, a bit more competitive. But, you know, with Dobbs kind of falling off and Mullins taking his spot, also not really performing all that great, the running back tandem is kind of up for grabs, the wide receiving core is thinning out. I mean, the defense is the thing that Minnesota is surprisingly hanging their hat on at this point, but. Like you're saying, with Browning stepping in, um, makes the Bengals not really, you know, miss Burrow too much in the games that he's been, you know, a starter for. Obviously, you want Burrow at the helm to be your, you know, franchise quarterback for now in the long term. But uh, Browning's definitely proving that he can be a starter in the NFL. Um, maybe it's not going to be with Cincinnati, um, you know, down the road. Maybe, maybe he, you know, remains the backup. But in a lot of ways, if he's looking for an opportunity, I'm sure a team would be you know, interested in calling up Cincy and making a trade because he looks like he can be a pro um, in this sense. You know, Mixon's taking on, I think, a bigger role now, um, you know, just the way that kind of Browning plays his own game. And overall, Cincy had a huge win, you know, last week, um, almost by like 20 points or so. So I feel like a lot of things are just starting to move in the right direction for Cincy in terms of, you know, the teams they're playing and the, you know, kind of the way they're you know, rallying behind Browning. So I see them, you know, putting it to Minnesota actually, um, you know, with Minnesota on the road. I think this one might be double digits in terms of, uh, you know, just margin there. But uh, yeah, no, give me Cincy and uh, yeah, Minnesota. I don't really know what to say, man. I, it's like they are in a decent spot in terms of, you know, playoff standing for the NFC, but we'll definitely talk about them, uh, you know, later on in the show. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, it's 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 just one of those, man, like, I kind of want to cheer for them, but I also want to be realistic. And yeah, they're just running to a hot Bengals team right now, I feel like. For sure. 